Hi, I'm Rob Latham, and I'd like to show you a drill to teach you accuracy and control. Now, the size of your target and the distance you put it determines how difficult the shot is. And you need to practice fast, you need to practice slow, you need to practice easy shots, hard shots, anything you can think of if you want to be a well-rounded shooter and have a good set of skills. What I have here is one of my favorite control tests. I have a 10-inch circle, steel plate, at 15 yards. You shoot two strings of fire. You have 10 seconds to shoot on each string. Now, because of the way the rules work, so they give you time to hear the buzzer end, 10.30 is in, 10.31 is out. Now, while this works, I'm shooting A-round magazines in a single stack 40, is I've got to shoot that target as many hits as I can in that 10.30 seconds. Now, on the first string, if I miss, it doesn't matter, I just keep on going. So all I really have to do is count how many misses I shoot. Then on the second string, as soon as you miss, you stop. Okay? It teaches you that it doesn't really matter how many shots you fire, it matters how many times you hit it. Somebody new at this will come out there on the first string and just blaze a lot of shots out there. Say you shoot 20 shots at it and only 10 of them hit, that's not any better than carefully hitting 10 shots and that's the point of the drill. All right. Timer set, here we go. Okay, I think I shot two misses right over the top. 10.06, so I shot 22 or 23 shots in the time limit, and I had two misses, so that means my score is a 21. Now, that's the easy string. Now we shoot the hard string. On this one, as soon as I miss, my time stops. So I need to make sure that that doesn't happen. I want to run out of time before I run out of target. All right. So my pace will be a little slower. I had pretty good hits going after I started the sequence. My very first shot was right on the bottom. So I need to make sure that first shot's perfect because nothing's worse on the second string than drawing and missing your first shot. <sighs> okay, 10.21 was my time. I have 21 hits. No misses, so my total score is 21 and 21 is 42. But you notice the second one was much more under control. I had better reloads, I didn't shoot as many shots, and I got the same score as when I started cranking the speed up and started missing. So what that teaches you, it's not the amount of shots you fire, it's where those shots go. And ultimately, they're timing how fast you hit the targets, not how fast you shoot at them. So make sure when you get the gun out, you get it stopped, to get set up. Don't fight the gun. A lot of people think you put a ton of strength into it and a push and a pull to try to keep that gun from kicking. Let the gun recoil. If you watch this on a slow-mo, you're going to notice that the gun has pronounced recoil. But as the string of fire proceeds and I start shooting more and more shots, the gun starts reducing its recoil and muzzle flip. That's because you're starting to put your body weight into it and you're starting to push the gun down against the recoil. And that's what the point of the drill is to teach you the control. The reason you need different size targets is because that is how you create the difficulty of the shot. If you shoot a full silhouette all day long, pretty soon you're going to start shooting to the size of the target. You're going to hear ding, ding, ding and not really care too much where the hit is. And even when you, sh when you know you're trying to shoot center, when you shoot it off, you're going to say, well, it's good enough because I still hit the target. But the proper way to do that is to have a series of target sizes. So I've gone from a full silhouette, I've changed to a medium silhouette, now I've gone to a 12 inch disc which is a good target because for practical training, that's about the size of the targets you need to be able to hit all the time. So what I'm going to do here is just do a series of shots with reloads in them. Now, I know I can't get away with any slop on this. If I draw and just kind of shoot in the area, which I can do on the big target, I'm going to miss some of those shots. So this forces me to not only do my reload and my technique, but to shoot good shots too. So I'm going to shoot a couple shots, reload, shoot a couple shots. So those are good hits there, that's all I'm looking for. 
a little bit high. Okay, I'm right in there. Once again, you'll notice on the target, I'm starting to shoot towards the edge of it. If that's a smaller target, I'll have a greater hesitation. Okay, let's pick up the speed just a little bit. Let's find out what too fast is. Okay, those are still in there. Let's pick it up again. The total time for that was 2.82 seconds. Okay, now you'll notice I've got a little bit of a hesitation on the very first shot and a little bit of a hesitation right before the first shot after the, for the reload. That time was 2.63. My first shot was a 0.93 and my reload was 1.29. Now I'm gonna push one real hard and see if I can get the hits. Okay, that's what happens when you go over the wall. I made my first two hits and the first shot was an 81, so it was pretty quick. Then I hit a really good reload of a 114, but that shot didn't hit the target. If I'd been shooting at a big target, it would've hit it. I tried to do a makeup shot hit one and then missed another target. So what that's telling me is I've gone over the wall and it's time to back off just a little bit and bring it back in and shoot some control. So let's go back just a little bit. Okay, first shot right over the top and I made a recovery on it, hit it twice for a total time of 2.91. You need different target sizes to increase the difficulty. Now, some people will tell you always shoot at something small because it teaches you to be more accurate. And that's true. But if you ever want to gain speed, you're going to have to shoot at some big targets so you can get comfortable shooting, let's say not out of control, but at the limits of your control. Because I found in my experience, you take somebody who's very, very accurate and likes to shoot completely under control, it's just as hard for them to go fast as it is for somebody that goes fast to be accurate. So to be a well-rounded shooter and have all the skill set, you've got to learn how to be fast and when you need to be accurate, be accurate. To gain the skill I have shooting a pistol has required a great commitment in time and expanse. I shoot tens of thousands of rounds a year and you need the best equipment you can get from the guns to the ammunition to the targets I shoot. Action Target isn't another little company welding things together in their backyard. They have a humongous facility and they produce everything from plate racks to shoot houses. They've built shooting ranges for the FBI, for the federal law enforcement training facilities, right up to the NRA's headquarters range. It's the best equipment you can get and if you want your performances to be to the top you need the best equipment you can get.